The majority of House Republicans who supported President Trump's impeachment a second time one week before his term ended in January 2021 have struggled to win re-election as Tuesday's primaries for Liz Cheney are approaches. Here is where the top 10 candidates or former candidates or former representatives stand today. Number 10, David Vlado. David Vlado of California. And then there is a hidden or a implied spoiler alert because there's only two on this list that actually made it to their general election. And that's going to be at number nine. So from there, it's all downhill. In a recently created congressional district, he will compete against Democratic State Assemblyman Rudy Sales of California. In early 2021, a day after Vlado was sworn in for a second term, he voted to impeach President Trump. He didn't even have a person that Trump endorsed for this seat. Number nine, Dan Newhouse. And as we mentioned before, he's the only one other than Mr. Vallado who made it to their general election. This guy's from Washington and was able to defeat his GOP challengers last week. Trump supported Republican Lauren Cope in the primary. At number eight, Tom Rice. And it all goes downhill from here for these pro-impeachment Republicans. Earlier this year, Tom Rice of South Carolina, which by the way, what is going on with South Carolina Republicans these days? He just got made history by becoming the first Republican who supported impeachment to lose his attempt for re-election. The first one. Russell Fry, a former state representative and Rice's Republican opponent who received Trump's support, defeated Rice by more than 25 points. Number seven, Pierre Meyer. The second pro-impeachment Republican to lose in their primary was Peter Meyer of Michigan. He's a member of the affluent Meyer family that owns the namesake supermarket chain. He was defeated by Trump back candidate John Gibbs a few weeks ago in a monumental upset. Gibbs said, after we got the good news and the race was called, we did get a call from President Trump who just wanted to congratulate me. He was very excited and said to get back to work real soon because it's going to be tough going in November. And we know that and we're going to be ready for it. So I think it will be a good race. Number six, John Katko. John Katko of New York made his intention to leave Congress known earlier this year. He, of course, denied all claims that this had anything to do with his vote to impeach Trump, though. I was quite certain, even the redistricting that was done in New York State, that I had a path to victory, he told The Washington Post in March. Number five, Fred Upton. Like John Katka before him, Republican Fred Upton of New York, a supporter of impeachment, declared back in April of 2022 that he would not run for re-election. In an interview with CNN, Upton acknowledged that Trump had a strong grip on the Republican Party. Trump has had a number of decisive wins where he's endorsed candidates that have won. He's had a few losses as well, but he certainly entertains a majority of the Republican base and will be hard to stop. Number four, Adam Kissinger. A notable member of the House Committee on January 6th was Adam Kissinger of Illinois, who, like Upton, also declared his intention not to run for re-election. Next to Liz Cheney in the House GOP, Kissinger has been one of the most vocal opponents of President Trump. He used the Tea Party support to win his initial attempt for the House in 2013. He's also been on CNN and other venerable news sources since Trump took office in 2017 to disparage the outgoing president. Number three, Anthony Gonzalez, the former NFL wide receiver turned congressman, Anthony Gonzalez of Ohio, declared late last year that he will not run for re-election to a third term. <laughs> he voted to impeach the 45th president some months before doing that. Gonzalez received harsh criticism from Ohio's Republican Party, which censored him and demanded his resignation in 2017. Gonzalez resorted to emotional conclusions that misplaced blame on President Trump, the president of law and order and America first. The GOP resolution read, we believe that Congressman Gonzalez knowingly and willfully violated his oath of office. Number two, Jamie Herrera Belter, 
Another Republican who voted to impeach Trump in early 2021, Jamie Herrera Brelta, lost to Trump backed candidate Joe Kent last week in a huge upset. Number one, Liz Cheney. In the Wyoming GOP primary for the at large congressional seat, Cheney is trailing by double digits according to some polls, and one has her down nearly 30 points behind Trump backed Harriet Hagman. Cheney has received harsh criticism from fellow Republicans for her role in the January 6th House probe and her second vote to impeach President Trump. She even got kicked out of the party and now is relying on Democrats to help her get close to winning because there are not enough Republicans to put her over the top. And we shall see this Tuesday, the 16th. Follow us on The Conservative Take, where we do a live stream starting at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The polls in Wyoming close at 7 Mountain Standard Time.